Welcome to another episode of Origins of Places, and today we're going to be talking about Karamuth, um, Hicksville, um, uh, Heratonga. Well, it's going to become known as Hastings in New Zealand. The Heratonga Plain is located on the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand. It covers a wide, fertile area that the Maori settled many, many hundreds of years ago. It is believed that they arrived by canoe and they traveled down the east coast of the North Island. It was the Ngātai Kahanga tribe that settled in this area. When they arrived, they discovered what it is today, which is a rich, fertile land ideal for settling and agriculture. Now, Thomas Tanner and Francis Hicks were two of what were to be known as the Twelve Apostles. They were twelve people who, uh, around about 1870, bought a parcel of land from the Ngātai Kahunga tribe uh, in the Heratonga Plain. The price they paid was £1.10 shillings per acre. It came to a grand total of about £371 in old money. As I implied from the beginning, the name of the settlement w was somewhat questionable. So many people thought that it was going to be called Hicksville, some people thought it was Heratonga, some people thought that it was Karamu. But eventually, in 1873, it was reported in the Hawke's Bay Herald that yes, it was finally going to be called Hastings. And it was named after a somewhat roguish character from British India. The name fitted with the other settlements in Hawke's Bay because Napier, Clive and Havelock were all notable figures from that British India period. So here's some dates for your diary. In 1874, the first train traveled from Napier to Hastings, 12 kilometers in length, and it opened up Hastings as being an ideal settlement for dealing with export. Now in 1881, Edward Newbigin opened up his brewery, which gave a huge boost to the local economy, as you can imagine. When you consider that a, a year later in 1882, the population was counted as being 600 and freeholder land totaled about 195. It's not the biggest place in New Zealand. But by 1886, it was incorporated and uh, classified as a borough. So congratulations, Hastings. In 1918, there was a flu epidemic and it claimed the lives of about 300 people, which is actually quite a significant portion of the population at that time. And in 1919, welcome electricity. I'm going to put some links in the doobly doo to some other interesting articles that I found about Hastings and its origins. I'm going to also include some pieces of information around Warren Hastings because he's a bit of an interesting character, you know. I'll catch you tomorrow.